it's me Zara, welcome back to my world and today, right here, right now, I'm in the beautiful sun-kissed lands of Kupalpur in Odisha and now I've got this beautiful, awesome thing and I'm super excited to, to try it out and something about putting paint on a rock seems interesting to me and anyways, now without further ado, let's get the camera back here behind me and let's just get over with this got three beautiful cute little painted rocks and it says the company name right here and as you can see over here, I've got my own paints, my messy palette, a dirty cloth, some water, and some paintbrushes just in case I need some. Anyways, now this is one heavy kit. Anyways, let's just open it up. Is this too? Which? Oh, it's paint. And it's, there's really less paint, but a lot of different colors. So that's good. And these paints are doms with a beautiful blue brush. As you guys know, blue is my favorite color. And this is a nice flat stuff. So the paints they have are black, green, red, yellow, blue, and white in the first row. And in the second row, there's like a glittery silver, glittery gold, pink. This inspiration booklet, which not only has all the instructions of how to do, but also many inspiration, inspiring ideas. So you can do whatever you like, for like submarine or a minion, flower, aboriginal art, or anything. It's filled with it. So without further ado, let's get, let's go with it. So first instruction is to like clean the top rocks with a damp cloth. So here I've got a cloth. I've got some water in there, which I was right. We did need water. So I'm just gonna wet my cloth a little here. And I'm gonna clean this rock. That we can use, we are supposed to use these tempera colors. So I'm gonna use red, which is the color of a strawberry. So that's why I'm using red. And I'm gonna actually use this paintbrush and take my rock, dip the paint in red, and let's just go with it. Okay, so these paints are actually really good. They go on very well. And I just realized I was painting my hair. I realized I was painting my hair. Hmm. And let's go with it. It's going on really well. It's good. It's a smooth paint. It's good. And there's not very less, but there's not too much of this. So I don't know. I might need to do a lot of coats. So that's why I have my acrylic right over here as well. So I'm gonna keep this aside for a while and let this dry. Well, I think it's in this video. Maybe this one. So till then, I'll just clean this up very well. Damp cloth ready. And tricky on this one. I don't know. Is it because of the paintbrush? Is it because of the paint? Is it because I'm doing way too thin coats? I don't know. I kind of like this. It looks like a mango. You know what? Scratch that minion idea. I'm going with the mango. Wow. I just seen my idea. Okay. So with the red rock, it is dry, and I just got yellow paint on it. No? Okay, luckily. Okay, it's off. And looks like I'm gonna need one, just one more coat of red paint. And I guess I'll be done with that. Now, almost dry. It takes a long time to dry. Of course, it's paint. It's liquid. Liquid takes time to dry. Okay. I guess this is good enough, and maybe we can start doing it on... I'm just gonna go with this. This is actually some good quality paint. The red is really good. The yellow is super streaky, but the red is worth. Just keep painting it. Progress carefully, just and see if that makes a difference. Using my acrylic paint, not by like the paint quality for the yellow, especially yellow, because that's really streaky. And look at how good got with like the acrylic paint so yeah I guess acrylic paint is an improvement take my dark green put it on if I get the color I want I'll be so happy because while mixing I never get the color I want like ever take my white paint mix it up now this is a really sweet shade but I don't want a shade like this because you see, this paint is like, this is like a pastelish dark green. So yeah, that's not going to do for me. And there we go. This is the perfect shade I wanted. 
and I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. No wait, I'm gonna mix it with the yellow I was using, so that for some effects, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing at all. I'm not a good artist, but I am doing my best to figure out what I'm doing. There we go. I guess this is nice. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of like the dots over here of this paint. Like so. Well, I know this is not very professional, but yeah, that's the way I do it. Then I'm gonna take some yellow paint and I'm gonna smother that with this. I'm gonna got its face. And then we can finally get onto the leaf. I'm not doing the back side of the mango because that's gonna take way too long and I'm not that patient. So, okay, this is a little better than what it was. Okay, let's just paint on the calyx. Strawberry, tennis paintbrush here. Wait, not tennis, but one of my tennis. You know what I mean. And I'm just painting on the calyx right now. Very carefully. I am, I cannot paint straight lines, so I am doing my best. I hope this looks like a strawberry. If it looks like a strawberry, even the tiniest bit in the end, I'm not going to give five stars to this kid. Can you try? Okay, this makes a difference. Guess what? It did. It was working a lot more better than these tempera paints. I know it's dark and it's very dull rock. I don't know. I guess it's the best I can do. I'm not a good artist. Again. And uh, for this video, I even had to blow plans off with a few of my friends. But that's okay. I guess it's worth it. I am having fun painting on a rock. So cute. And now I'm going to have to hold it till it dries. Just kidding. I can just paint on the face like this, holding it. I'm not going to be painting the face, like, using the paint, like, the brush part. I'm going to be using the back part of these paint brushes. Tiny little... Eyes, just gonna do it. Make oh, just one circle. Oh, I know strawberry seeds are you aren't usually that thick, but I'm just just bear with me, you know. Just go with me. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna like make some eyebrows. Oh, the seeds are in the shape of an eyebrow. I really like it. Okay, now. The Nose, pin on the nose, and it's freckles, which are gonna be yellow. Name two of them wrong. And now give it little freckles. Ah, oh. these freckles are its strawberry seeds, and it has freckles all over its face. So I guess it's a nerd. No, nerds do not do not need to have freckles all like the time. I. Like, most people describe nerds with freckles. I, I do not know where to keep it. Should I keep it? No. Oh. The mango does not get a face, but it does get a leaf. And then I'll be done. Take this and just paint on my leaf. Take a nice amount of this, this, this green paint. And just get my... My mango is done. It looks super adorable. Except for the leaf. I totally failed it. And now I'm going to tell you if this kit is worth it. I paid 400 rupees for this and some paints, I didn't try out all of them, but especially this yellow really made me sad. And for some time, I was really thinking this red was a little dull. Also, when I was layering the green on top of the red, it turned into an olive green, which I did not like. When I was painting the mango, the yellow was really streaky. And that I did not like, so I don't know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, all the subscribes, and as I told you earlier, do give me your video ideas down in the comment section below. And now, without further ado, I'm just gonna end it up and wind it up and say goodbye.